Ready? All right, so here we go with round one. This is his UFC debut, so you know what he did on the regional circuit. Ran rough shot through a lot of the guys in his division. Now the question beckons, will his game translate to the big show? No denying he deserves to be here. Oh! All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jabs, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start thinking about striking. Adesanya gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Missed with that attempt. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the killer. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation, he's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. And he's out. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Ground and pound strike there now. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Well, good news, bad news, right? The strike there lands, but just not much steam on it because his gas tank seems to be on the verge of empty. The gas tank is completely empty. All that butt mash did you no good. You wasted your energy, you wasted your time. Now it's just a matter of when your opponent decides another take down land. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. All right, so he postures up. Nicely done. Gets up again here, but hurting. Right hand push. He lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Great punch. Israel Adesanya going for the head kick. He misses there. A single collar tie. That punch to the body does a lot of damage. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Good takedown defense by Israel. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous. This can change the fight, another takedown win. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with... He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh, man, that was slick. Bottom 
fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a holding, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. Well, he certainly had his way with his opponent in that previous round, and with this guy, even when you know what's coming, sometimes it's still just hard to say. Huge oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. That's a big strike right there. Oh, beautiful connection on the feet. He's got it all working tonight, DC. He's in his zone. He's in a zone, and it's going to be very difficult for his opponent to keep up with him. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd... Oh, man, notice how he's walking him over to try to get a windshield choke. Oh, he's got a choke. Excuse me? Windshield choke. A windshield choke. He took the arm with him. And he's out. He's on the control. Hand control. Adesanya gets back up and pretty quickly, I might add. I'm trying to kick the leg out. Maybe so have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the win by TKO. That is one they'll be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliana has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 55 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Israel, the last of Sanya. Well, could you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he got his opponent hurt, he was not going to stop until he got that TKO.